we will continue with our discussion of ACI 318-19 changes. Uh, I assume everyone who is here today was with us yesterday. And yesterday we uh, had uh, seven slides left over that uh, because time ran out, we could not go over. We have brought those into uh, today's presentation. So those are the slides I will start with and, and then go on to what was planned for today. Uh, I said yesterday that I had a little too much material for the two and a half hours. You, you saw what happened. I uh, I think I think that statement is truer today. We we have a bit too much, uh, so uh, it, it will barely fit in. I still hope, but but here and there I may skip a a, a few slides. It, it it won't be too many. It won't take away anything from the seminar. But I think that may be necessary to do. Okay, uh, I I think. By now, everybody understands its discussion on ACI 318-19, but that has been adopted by the 2021 IBC, so it is also a discussion in a way of the 2021 IBC concrete chapter. Okay, we are in chapter 18 of ACI 318-19, the seismic chapter. The we We went over a number of modifications to special shear wall design and detailing requirements, special meaning specially detailed, the only kind we are allowed to have in seismic design categories D, E, and F. Okay. The, we, we went over a number of modifications that have been made. Uh, I will I, I would like to discuss the rest of it, uh, starting with the, the change that uh, comes next. It, it is, I, I uh, am totally convinced, is the biggest change we have made in the special in the design of special shear walls uh, ever uh, th this is a huge change that i believe is totally justified i think it's a beneficial change uh, but we may have to make some adjustments uh, uh, it, it it seems based on what we have seen so far any, anyway, without any other uh, introduction, what, what has happened is we design, when we do shear design of a beam or a column of a special moment frame, we design for the largest shear that can develop in the beam or the column. We do not do our shear design for the shear that our structural analysis says develops in the beam or the column. In the case of shear walls, we, we do not really know how to do that. We do not know uh, the, how to figure out the largest shear that can develop in the shear wall. So all these years we have designed for designed shear walls for the shear that our analysis says develops in the shear wall. That is the P sub U. Now we will amplify that design shear or required shear strength by two amplifiers. Okay an overstrength factor, capital omega sub V, and a dynamic amplification factor or a, a <coughs> higher mode effect factor, lowercase omega sub V. 
the product of the two, the uppercase omega sub b and the lowercase omega sub b need not exceed 3. So that means we will now be required to design special shear walls for up to three times the shear that we were designing them for under ACI 318-14.